Rex. Hi, Cristiano. Good, looks to, like we're, good to be here with you chatting. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it looks like we're here um, kind of along the Orinoco River by Angel Falls. It's beautiful, Paul. it's like beautiful. I've, yeah, I've brought in her just so we have the presence of the Orinoco, um, which is really the, the kind of being in our midst for the community that we've created. And we're here to talk more about the Nine Star Key, this Japanese astrology system, and these little rituals that we're putting together for um, the child stars. Because we have a, a little booklet that's available that we have compiled um, for people just to make reference of what their child star is, what their number is, and what their adult star. And you're here to share with us kind of the characteristics or essences that are carried forth um, through your child star number. And today our conversation is about eight earth child star, which is why I just, I really felt compelled to have the waterfalls here and the mountaintop, because I know we talk about the eight earth and being out on a mountain, kind of overseeing this beautiful vista and the, the earth down below. So maybe you can start off telling us a little bit about what an eight earth carries. Okay, the eight earth, someone who carries the eight earth child star is very much the observer. Um, they are taking in things that they are seeing or hearing or looking at, and it tends to be from a place of very much the observer rather than participating. So at times they can be viewed as not that social, sociable with their interactions with others. This is not quite accurate. Um, although the need for um, like quiet or, or the need for some space for themselves is present. But they can be very much, um, they can be very sociable, especially when certain events or certain types of experiences are happening around them. And what is so um, fascinating with the eight earth, someone who carries the eight earth child star is that they have a big curiosity about their elders. So be it their aunts, their grannies, their grandpa, and they like to hear what they have to say, which at times some parents feel a little awkward, like, you know, so you're not really that interested with your children at school, and which they are, but they just have a bigger fascination about hearing about the experiences of the elders. This, this, um, this tends to be how it is. Sorry, I muted myself. What is supportive, like supportive habits for the um, supportive earth? habits for it? Someone who carries the eight earth child star is one of historical um, information, museums, um, archaeology, anything about the past, and anything about like researching ancient cultures or old cultures. This is a big area of curiosity for them. And also biographies, the, um, the eight earth child star tend to be sort of curious about people. And of course, they would sort of identify who they are curious about and getting a biography for a child who's an eight earth child star. Um, this is, you know, this is really up their alley. And, and, and a way of then interacting with the eight earth child star child would be to so tell me what you really enjoyed about this person or, and tell me what you didn't really like about them. Or So then they get very emotionally involved in the conversation. So questions are important very much in the narrative with the eight earth child star um, child and also as as, a, as an adult as you know very well we carry our child star throughout our lives so the the questions 
um, and the discovering areas of curiosity um, is, is very much the track of their self-expression then becomes very uh, available. And what about, is, you know, I, I raise right now an eight earth child in my midst, my daughter, and I know she's with the Western Zodiac, she's considered a Taurus, a bull, <laughs> also earth element. But I'm curious about the stubborn aspect of eight earth and like digging their heels in. It's like they have this capacity to really lock down <laughs> in their okay. ways. Tell me a little bit about this. All right, I can identify with that because I have the eight earth, I carry the eight earth child star. Um, there are certain areas or areas of interest that an eight earth child star personality um, has whereby they have that view about it. Yes, they, they are quite willing to hear what you're saying, but do not attempt to convince them otherwise about what they are saying, what you're saying. Um, but discussing, not a problem, but as regards that you have to be, that, that you have to enroll the eight earth child star person, person into um, your wavelength about how you are viewing it. Um, there's some areas of accommodation, but that you, the eight earth child star person will then become enthusiastic, like how enthusiastic you may be about it. No, that is not necessarily um, the case with that. I know that from my childhood because I remember um, like certain music, at the time, I was around about 10 years of age at the time, and some of my friends were very much like, wow, this is great, this is great. And I, I, I was not, um, I was not sort of uh, enthusiastic about it. I mean, I listened to it. But, and, and at that time, this is interesting that you presented that way. At that time, I was more interested in jazz and I was interested in uh, musicians, because, you know, the whole jazz expression really comes out of America. Um, so people like Lester Young, and Lester Young was born in, in like um, 1910 or something like that. And Count Basie and these people and Frank Sinatra and whatever, where's, you know, and this is, so I'm dealing with like, this is 1955, 1956 in that area. And I am more wanting to listen to, to those people than to what was happening around that time. So that's an, that was an example. And, and, and that has kind of remained where I'm still, I'm still a listener to like Sinatra. I'm still a listener to um, from that kind of era um, of a thing. Of course, there's some people, anyway, don't, don't stop me off because I could go on for a long time in that area. But um, I think you get the drift of what I'm talking about, how it is. It doesn't mean to say I'm not going to listen to what other people are listening to, but to, for me to be enthusiastic about it, um, the it is child star personalism, mm, it's okay. You like it, fine, but let allow me not to like it too, or whatever. So, <laughs> does that sound familiar with your daughter? It sounds very familiar. And, and not only that, but she's, really into history and and studying ancient cultures right now her her gig is you know celtic mythology but there's always been an historic whenever we go to museum she's fascinated she loves reading biographies and studying other people um and, and definitely needs to find her way find her own way of orienting to something so that makes a lot of sense to me and I'm just curious, Rex, what is a, a ritual that we can do for an eight or a child star that is just soothing to your being? Okay, something that uh, makes a big difference um, for eight earth child star are things that support the organ of the spleen. The spleen governs our lymph system. So like bouncing on a rebounder, 
you know, or, or just kind of rocking on it, um, which has a strong influence on our lymph system. It moves the lymph. Fantastic. And in fact, you know, that's that's like a um, a wonderful sort of piece of equipment to have around for a, someone you know who carries the to a child star. Because at times, if they are bored or if things are for them to just bounce on it or even be hearing some music that they like, a lot of ideas come um, to them and a lot of enthusiasm arises like within 10 minutes. It's like a whole other world opens up. And, and, and how is that? I mean, the lymph has moved and in the lymph moving, certain levels of interconnectedness with life and the environment and ideas become available. Um, so this would be one aspect. On a self-care aspect, of course, that is self-care, but of course, one has to have, you know, uh, one of these indoor, you know, like rebounders. So there's never any, any excuse as regards exercising. You, you know, if even it's raining, it's snowing outside, you could just bounce in it, and it's it's fantastic. And um, but the other thing that can help a lot is to um, skin brushing, because skin brushing um, stimulates the lymph system, and in the skin brushing, um, in moving of the lymph, you're also, of course, supporting the skin. And you're making a good, which is like also making a good connection with the space. Because the skin is like our immediate um, contact with space around us. So you have all of uh, this um, area of heightened awareness, um, Clarity of mind, it, it tends to support clarity of mind. For the eight Earth child star, clarity of mind is important. I mean, it's important for all of us, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but but um, with, with, uh, without a sense of clarity of mind for the eight Earth child star, as an adult, as a child, I mean, so where am I going or what am I doing? And it's all kind of confused. The eight Earth child star, um, child will tend to lock down. I'm not, no, I, I don't want to go out. I mean, it's like, I don't know. I just, so everything, it becomes, it becomes the person can become, rec the eighth old child, star child can, can kind of go into a kind of a reclusive aspect because there's no clarity about what's going on around them. And I have a question about the rebounder. Is this is this like a trampoline or is it one of those balls? That yeah, it's a trampoline. It's a trampoline. It's a oh, trampoline. Oh, okay. And they have these indoor trampolines, which could be just the size of like a round table, you know, not that large. So it sounds like I'm marketing trampolines, but um, <laughs> no, no, that that makes sense. No, no, but it's good. I I guess I am marketing it because it, it you know it's, it's very supportive to our health and well being, and it's a um, I guess um, if a parent is having a lot of challenges with a child who carries the eight Earth child star, getting an indoor trampoline and all that. And then with some music that they like, I think a lot of those issues will kind of just go out the window. And um, I think ease, a lot of ease will come into the, into the, um, you know, interactions. Well, do you want to demonstrate just skin brushing at this point? You yeah, it's, this, you it's quite, I mean. There, because I've looked online, like through Amazon, like. There, there are all types of skin brushes now. I mean, I have this one. They have others which um, are connected with a bit of wood. They, they are all sorts of varieties out there. And but this, this one here is a plant-based. Yeah, this is plant-based. This is like with fiber, like, you know, the, the um, hemp fiber or something like that. So it's like this. And, and you know, basically which I'm not going to do, but one would be naked <laughs> and you would just brush. You can start like for me with my head, not having any hair, I would brush, you know, thing, um, my face and just brush my whole body, my hands, all of that. 
and um, you know, and the whole body, you just um, do the skin brushing. It doesn't can, take that long. Can you take it, do that in the shower, or is it better to do it dry air? Uh, you can do it, you can do it both um, dry or you can do it wet. Um, both are fine. Um, Excellent. Okay, that's like, that's really insightful. Well, thank you, Rex. So we've gotten to learn a little bit more about eight Earth, and I know we will return again with more. Sure. And the other thing, okay, the other aspect to as regards the eighth Earth chest, uh, um, as regards the environment, um, to have some books around, be it in their bedroom, not on the ground, but you know, like on a bookshelf or somewhere where they sit. Um, you know, to do their homework, some books around. And I don't mean ebooks. I mean, you know, actually books, the, the, the ancient type of books <laughs> that is there that they can pick up and hold and feel. It was child start children. Um, this makes a big difference for them too, rather than, so I think it's also a bit challenging for them with a lot of stuff being on the computer all the time. Not that they, they will engage with it because they are always curious about things, but the actual aspect to kind of read a book rather than do things, you know, on the computer um, for the eight Earth Child Star, this, I'm connected to the past. Yes, I'm living in the present, but I need to also get information from back then. I need to, to know these things because I'm up on this mountain and I'm looking down. How is it down there? I, you know, I, I can't quite go except through the books I can go, etc. Sounds like I have a trip to the library in the future, which we do a <laughs> yeah, lot. Yeah, no, no, li yeah. libraries, I think, because I remember also as you bring up that, okay. So as a child, libraries was a big place. I enjoyed yes. going into libraries. I spent a lot of time in libraries. I mean, yes. um, librarians at times used to have a challenge with me because I would be like, you know, but where can I find this book? No, no, well, we have this and we have that. And no, 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 no. This book by this author. Can you not get this one? Yeah, but they, it will tell you, no, I want this one. Yes. And we, I yeah. So at, and part of it was one, okay, sorry to digress a little bit, but one part of it was that I was a kind of irritation to them at a certain level. But on the other side, they liked me because they saw how sincere and enthusiastic I was about reading. So they had a lot of time and I, I knew that at times they made big efforts to, you know, check other libraries to get the book to come and whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense because I know, well, I have, I have both Earth children. As you know, my son is a, a five Earth and sometimes he's my little chameleon, right? Between two Earth and he oscillates between two Earth and eight Earth, but we are bookworms for sure at the library. We spend a lot of time there. Um, well, this is great. Thanks, Rex. And I know up next we have two Earth, so we will go there and differentiate a little bit about how the two Earth is different from the eight Earth. And I look forward to meeting you. Thank you. Thank you.